It is deafening silence here with another first impressions video. I guess this is going to be somewhat of a series here. And yes, as you can see, and as the title suggests, it is me cracking open literally for the first time volume one of My Hero Academia by Kohei Horikoshi. I did this Tokyo Ghoul video a while back, and I guess it may have made a playlist or just the YouTube algorithm magically, and a lot of people have been watching it. And so I figured, um, I, I bought a few manga months ago, whenever I and my wife were getting back into like watching anime and stuff. And we went through One Punch Man and Seven Deadly Sins and such. And we went to Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Nobles, and we saw that they had manga, you know, for pretty cheap. And this was one of them. And I've literally never seen My Hero Academia. I've wanted to, but I've just not checked it out yet. And of course, My Hero Academia is very popular. And a lot of merchandise out there. And, you know, it's it's become a very popular anime. I've not heard a lot about the manga, though. So what I figured today, for myself, and maybe for someone else checking out this video, we can open this thing up. I don't know if we'll read through the whole first volume, but we'll get through some of it. And if it's something that people want to see more of, um, leave a like or a comment. Let me know, and I'll do more. And I'll also continue Tokyo Ghoul, or I actually have the first volume of Noragami, which I have seen that. I've watched both seasons, and I love it. But, um, yeah, let me know. So without further ado, let's get into this thing. First off, we'll read the back. And it says, What would the world be like if 80% of the population manifested superpowers called quirks? Heroes and villains would be battling it out everywhere. Being a hero would mean learning to use your power. But where would you go to study? The Hero Academy, of course. But what would you do if you were one of the 20% who were born quirkless? And that segues into our buddy here. Middle school student Izuku Midoriya wants to be a hero more than anything. But he hasn't got an ounce of power in him. With no chance of ever, ever getting into the prestigious UA high school for budding heroes, his life is looking more and more like a dead end. Then, an encounter with All Might, the greatest hero of them all, gives him a chance to change his destiny. And they got some girl over here uh, trying to look attractive. So, yes, let's open this thing up. And of course, if you are unfamiliar to Japanese comic books, it goes the opposite way of American. This is my third series to be collected into graphic novels. Forgive me if this sounds reckless, but the thing I prioritize most when drawing manga is creating something I can enjoy. This one might not remain popular, but for now, I'll just be happy if everyone finds it as fun as I do. Mr. Kohei Horikoshi. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce his name. And that's another thing. Um, if I don't pronounce names correctly, please forgive me. Like I said, I've never seen it, and I'm no expert. So, you know, the only way I know how to pronounce names is if I actually watch the anime. And it has to be, you know, English dub, of course, if I do. So here we go. It looks like um, Kohei uses, uses a lot of the, um, oh, what's it called? It's the paper you put down over your drawing to kind of add zip tone. That's what it is. It looks like he's using different zip tone or layers and stuff. I'm pretty sure. It, it may be Photoshop, but I doubt it. If he used Photoshop, why not just color it? But anyway. People. Is, is his thoughts. Enough. Cut him. Y'all already made him cry. Stop it. I won't let you. So... Deku, the quirkless wonder, thinks he can play hero, huh? And this is chapter one, Izuku Midoriya, origin. 
people are not born equal. That is, that's the hard truth I learned at age four. A nice double spread here, which is kind of hard to get with this being paper like this, but But that was my first and last setback relating to human or people not being born equal. And he says, wow, as we see heroes fighting a giant villain of some kind. It all began in KK City. Or Kai, it's not Kai, it's KK City, I'm sure, in China. So this is based in America. Or not America. It's based in a real world, apparently. It all began in the city in China with the news that a bioluminescent baby was born. After that, exceptional individuals began popping up all over the world. Sounds like X Men. The cause was unclear. Time passed, and the exceptional became the norm. Fantasy became reality. At present, 80% of the world's population consists of superhumans with special abilities. The world is in chaos, and a profession that everyone once only dreamed about entered the spotlight. Get away. Turning into a monstrous... Turning into a monster? What a crazy quirk. What did he do? Tried to steal a purse and started rampaging when he got cornered. A villain appeared. That's right, I'm at the train station. Not sure when I'll get in. He can get him, Kamui. And then here's Izuku Midoriya. It's been ten years now. He's fourteen. Who's fighting him? Uh, illegal use of abilities during rush hour as well as robbery and assault? You're pure evil. It's Conway Woods, the popular young superstar. A running commentary, huh? Kid, you are a fanboy. Uh, no. <laughs> and then, uh, Scritch, your punishment. Take him down, tree man. Here comes its preemptive binding. Lacquered chain prison. And he's got names for all of his <laughs> guys' abilities and stuff. Uh, Canyon Cannon, bam. And everyone, of course, is, uh, yeah. It's her. Today's my pay debut. Pleased to meet you all. You can call me Mount Lady. And I'm sure she's a fan favorite amongst the guys. So it looks like Kohei's not uh, immune to the Japanese fan service that happens. <laughs> Along with the exceptional abilities came an explosion in the crime rate. While nations strove to overhaul their legal systems, Brave individuals took up the mantle of heroes straight out of comic books, protecting the people from evildoers. With public support, some quickly acquired the right to serve as heroes in an official capacity. Depending on their performance, they have the potential to earn government pay, fame, and glory. Let's see, gigantification, huh? It's a popular and quite powerful quirk. But could the threat of public property destruction limit its use? Well, depends on whether or not she can manipulate her size at will. Taking notes? I guess you want to be a hero yourself. Good luck. Thanks, I'll try. You guys are all third years now. It's time to start thinking seriously about your futures. And of course, he's just kind of... Midoriya's kind of just, you know, bummed out. I would hand out these few... I would hand out these future career forms, but... I assume you all want to be heroes. And the, of course the classroom just says, yeah. You, yeah, yes, you all have wonderful quirks, but you know that it's against the rules to use them in school. Sensei, don't want me in with these losers. As if I had anything like their crappy quirks. Heh, <laughs> this is Katsuki Bakugo. Get over yourself, Katsuki. Um, shut up, extra shit, add like extras. Ah, Bakugo, you, of course, must be aiming for UA High School. That national school? The cutoff score this year is 79, right? I hear they barely accept anyone. All this stupid chattering of extras. 
I aced the mock exam. I'm the only one here with the stuff for you, eh? I'll even surpass all might and become the best hero out there. Not to mention I'll be one of the richest people in the world. And then someone says, oh. <laughs> You're also going for UA, aren't you, Midoriya? And then everyone turns to look towards him, and then they uh, just start busting out laughing. Huh, Midoriya? No way. Good grades alone can't get you into the hero program. Th that's not necessarily true. Sure, there's no precedent, but... Come on, Deku. Forget the crappy quirks. You're totally quirkless. And you think you can rub shoulders with me. What, what, wait, no, Kachin. I, I wasn't saying I could compete with you. Not at all. I mean, it's just been my dream since I was little. And, well, there's no harm in trying. Try? Try what? The entrance, entrance exam? You're taking the exam just to try? And, uh... There's where the anxiety demons show up. And then we skip forward to 1202 downtown. There, someone stop him. And this thing looks like something almost out of bleach. Catch me, if you can. Someone's bound to show up. Uh, this guy must have been inspired by the chaos this morning. Lots of people out there who just can't control their quirks, I guess. There's no end to them. Yes, there is. Why, why you ask? Because, or, yes there is. Why you ask? Because I am here. I missed a little punctuation there. <laughs> Let's go to karaoke. I can't today. This incident, the incident this morning is all over the net. I better get home and get my notes in order. And the book cover says, Hero Analysis for My Future, number 13. <laughs> We ain't done here, Deku. What's that, Koski? For my future? Seriously, this guy, Midoriya. C come on, give it back. And then, boom. So he's got explosives or something? Oh. He's got kind of like a Gambit's ability, I guess. He can charge anything or use some sort of energy. That will. The best heroes out there, well... They showed signs of weakness even, or greatness, sorry. They showed signs of greatness even as students. I'll be the first and only hero from the, this crappy public middle school. The first to win the honor of becoming a student at UA High School, or UA High. Guess I'm just a perfectionist. So vain. In other words, don't you dare get into UA, nerd. Midoriya is just... Like, really being made to be a loser. <laughs> Jeez, typical. Come on, say something. He can't say anything. He's so lame, even as a third year. He still can't face reality. You want to be a hero so bad? I've got a time-saving idea for you. If you think you'll have a quirk in your next life, go take a swan dive off the roof. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Telling him to kill himself. Wow. Wow. And, uh, he's thinking to himself, Idiot, if I'd really jumped, you'd be charged with blaming me into suicide. Think before you speak. That's not food, stupid. It's my notebook. Idiot. This is, like, really depressing right now <laughs> for this poor kid. Izuku. I think you're responsible for tens of thousands of this video's views. It's a little too scary for mommy to watch. It was. An old clip. There was this big disaster a while back, but in the aftermath. Are you seeing this? He's already saved a hundred people. Wow. And it's only been ten minutes so far. Wow. Yes, uh... Are you, a certain hero made his debut. Fear not. Why, you ask? Because I am here. He's so cool. When I get my quirk, I want to be just like him. I'm afraid there's no hope for him. Ooh. No, there must be some mistake. The other, the other kindergartners have all started showing signs, but... 
pardon my asking, ma'am, but you're fourth generation, yes? As far as quirks, I mean. Yes, of course. I can pull small objects towards me. And my husband can breathe fire. Wow. By the age of four, a child should manifest either one of his parents' quirks or a composite of the two. However, early quirk research rediscovered one important finding. It has to go with the presence or ab absence of the extra joint in the pinky toe. Huh. That's interesting that he came up with that. Humans have no need for parts they don't use, you see. And those without the joint represent the next stage of evolution. Izuku here has two joints. It's becoming quite rare nowadays, but he possesses no quirk at all. Mom, no matter what kind of trouble you're in, he'll save you with a smile. A cool superhero like that. That's what I want to be. Well, poor mom. I'm sorry, Izuku. I'm sorry. And the kid's just crying and crying. That was when I decided... I, I decided not to care what anyone says. To keep my chin up and keep moving forward. Let me see the, this monster again. Gloop. Ugh. A medium sized body to hide in. And then he tackles him. A villain. Don't worry, I'm just hijacking your body. Calm down. It'll only hurt for about 45 seconds. Then it'll all be over. I can't breathe. My body getting weak. I'm dying. I don't know if it goes down to here or up here, but. I'm saved. You're a real hero. I never thought he'd show up in this town. No point in trying that. I'm fluid. Uh, you see. He's just engulfing him. And then... Fear not, kid. I am here. And then... Texas Smash. I like him. <laughs> I like him. I, I was, uh... I lived in Texas for a little bit, and my, my family, st I have family that still does, so, there you go, <laughs> Texas smash, hey, uh, thank goodness, you're okay, excellent, apologies for getting you caught up in my villain hunt, mistakes like that aren't my style, but this is a strange land to me, and besides, I'm off camera, he is the number one hero, all might. But my success here is all thanks to you. I've contained the villain. All might, he's here. He's really here. Up close, I can really see. He's drawn in a totally different style. Oh, an autograph? Uh, where's my... Oh, an autograph? Where's uh, my notebook? He already did it. Wow, thank you so much. What a treasure. It'll be my family heirloom. Now, I must bring this fellow to the authorities. You can catch me again on TV. Um, wait, is that it? I. A pro battles not only enemies, but also time. Hold on, I still, I need to ask you. And, and he just says, until next time, thank you for your support. And, uh, <laughs> he's caught on to him. <laughs> that is funny. Release me. Such enthusiasm is a bit much. <laughs> it, if I let go now, I'll die. True enough. I need to ask you. I need to ask you so many things. You. Okay. Okay, just do me a favor and close your eyes and mouth. You. Whoosh. And then we got, where am I? That bastard. If not, if not for him, I could have... It's his fault for messing with me. Haven't you known him since you were kids? Yeah, you went too far today. Seeing him so full of stupid dreams like when we were kids just pisses me off. I thought I... I thought I told you to stop smoking. Get caught and it'll go on my record too. A body with a good quirk. 
Uh oh. Scary. Of all the. Hopefully, the people downstairs will help get us down. I've no time, though, truly. Wait, um. No, I will not wait. He asks him, even without a quirk, can I still be a hero? Can someone without a quirk become a hero like you? Quirks are. But I'm. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna try to avoid cursing on here. Where there's cursing, just cause uh, I don't want YouTube to come at me. So I don't know how aggressive they are with that stuff. But uh, you know, because I don't have a quirk. I well, maybe that's not the only reason. But I've always been picked on. That's why. Maybe that's why. I think that pe saving people is just about the coolest thing someone can do. The way you save people with that fearless smile. I want to be the strongest hero just like <laughs> That's funny. You're all shriveled up, huh? Were you a, a fake? An imposter? So thin. I am all might. No way. You know how people hold in their gut at the pool? It's like that. I fear the smile, huh? You've seen the real ki me, kid. But don't write about it on the internet, okay? Five years ago, an enemy did this to me. My respiratory system was nearly destroyed and my stomach was removed. I've wasted away because of the after effects of those surgeries. I can only do my hero work for about three hours a day now. Was not expecting that. Five years ago, was that when you fought a uh, toxic chainsaw? That low life, he can never do this to me. This was never made public. That is, I asked that it not be made public. A symbol of peace who saves people with a smile must never be daunted by evil. The reason I smile is to stave off the overwhelming pressure and fear I feel. A pro should always be ready to risk his life. Without power, can one become a hero? No, I should think not. If you desire to help people, becoming a police officer is always an option. Those villain custody, office, villain custody officers are often mocked, but that too is an admirable work. However, it's not wrong to dream. However, you need to be a realistic, kid. I have to get this guy to... Boom. Oh, no. And, uh... It's his thing. And he's fighting it. This dude's fighting it. As if I let this human take my body for himself. What strength. I've hit the jackpot. With this quirk and this much power, I'll have my revenge on him. She's fighting. Let me get over here. A single lane street. I can't get there. Explosive fire. Or explosive fires are my weakness. Someone else has to take this one. Thanks, but I've got my hands full too. Where are the firefighters? How's it looking over there? Wow, some sort of hardcore villain. Go get him, heroes. He's too slippery to get a hold of, but his hostage with the explosive cork is resisting. It's like a minefield out here, but we can't do anything against him. And he's starting to lose a little bit, it looks like. No good. There's no one here who can stop him. Just gotta wait for someone with the right quirk to show up. Until then, keep the damage to a minimum. Someone will come. We need that kid to hold on just a bit longer. Shoot, if only I had the power to blow him away. And that's when it happened. I lost track of time. Dealing with that fan led to this. Pathetic. Pathetic. And then Midori is kind of walking away. You need to be realistic. Even as a third year, he still can't face reality. It's time to start thinking seriously about your futures. Even the best of the best said it. Don't cry. You already knew, right? This is reality. 
It's because I knew that I tried so dang hard. So hard not to see, to ignore reality. That explosion, I'm so used to gawking. To stop it, it only made myself feel like a loser. Is that him now? All Might let him go? Uh, did he drop him? That, that means this is my fault. Why are the heroes just standing there? Seems like the villains grabbed a middle schooler. Grabbed? So he's enduring that same pain? Unbelievable. That, that villain, isn't it the one Might was chasing? Oh my, no way, he's really here. A lot, of, a lot of commotion. It's my fault. All my can't do anything. This guy can't be caught. We have to wait for someone with the right quirk to show up. Hang in there. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Someone will come to save you soon. A hero's bound to come. And the kid's starting to cry. And then he can't help it anymore. And he goes in. And there's All Might. <laughs> Looking so derpy. And then he comes in. Get back here, you fool. Stop. It's that kid, Deku. Why am I running? What am I doing? Why? What do I do at a time like this? And he takes out his... uh Kamui Woods. And he throws it at him. <laughs> Smacks the monster. God, Chan. You. Why? My legs just started moving. Why? I don't know. There were any number of reasons. It's my fault. There's no... No, I'm trying to train my superhero. All of this stuff. But at that moment, you... You look like you needed saving. And there's All Might. And then stop it. Pathetic. Just a bit longer. So stop getting in my way. Does he have a death wish? He'll die for nothing. Crap. And then finally he has to come back. The lesson I left you with, I should practice what I preach. A pro should always be ready to risk his life. And then, Detroit Smash. Not Texas Smash, Detroit Smash. Boom. So he didn't capture the guy, he just killed him this time. <laughs> Works for me. And then, plink. Rain. No way, the air pressure, that rising air current. He changed the weather with a single punch. <laughs> Amazing. That's all might. Yeah. Afterwards. Afterwards, the heroes collected the villain's scattered body. Seems like the police managed to get him into custody. The heroes really were really mad at me. There was absolutely no need for you to put yourself in danger. Kachin, on the other hand, got all the praise. You were real tough out there, and that quirk. Consider becoming my sidekick once you go pro. Hey Deku, I wanted to apologize to all my old, but guess I'll just leave a message on his website when I get home. Or he's he's talking first, and then hey Deku, Rumble, I. I never asked you to save me, as if you could, huh? Well, I could have beaten him myself. How dare a quirkless failure like you pity me, trying to win me over. Don't you mock me. Stupid nerd. He's right, though. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't change anything. But still, I'm glad. Now I can finally focus on a more realistic future. <laughs> I am here. <laughs> oh my, why are you here? You were surrounded by reporters. Shaking them off is nothing to me. After all, I'm all my cough. And poof. <laughs> Kid. I've come to thank you and revise what I said earlier. I also have a proposal. 
without you if I hadn't heard your story. I'd have been nothing but fake muscles and insincerity. So thank you. That, no, I mean, it was all my fault from the start. I got in your way, though I'm, though I'm quirkless. I dared to ask if, exactly. Of all the people at the scene, it was only you, timid and quirkless, who acted. You spurred me to action. Most of the top heroes show signs of greatness even as children. Many of them claim that. Their body simply moves before they could think. For some reason. I remember what my mom said. I'm sorry, Izuku. I'm sorry. That's what happened to you back there, yes? Yes. No, mom. Back then, what I wanted to say to you was... You can be a hero. Fantasy became reality. I forgot to mention this, but this is the story of how I became a great hero. Of course he forgot. <laughs> so here we go. That was a lot for a first chapter, but uh, we, can, we can go through one more, I guess. Let's see what we do. This is number two, Roaring Muscles. There's All Might. The number one hero, All Might, age unknown, Quirk, also unknown. Ever since he appeared on the hero scene, his strength has won him undisputed popularity. Every year that he's been active, every year that he's been active has seen a marked decrease in the entrant appearance rate of villains. His existence alone is a deterrence to villainy. He's a man who lives up to his name as a symbol of peace. And that man said, you can be a hero to me. Huh, Midoriya? No way. You're totally quirkless and you think you can rub shoulders with me? There's no hope for him. I'm sorry, Izuku, I'm sorry. He's hearing all these things. It's what I'd always wanted to hear from anyone. And this is all my genius, uh, true form now. And my idol said it to me. Could I wish for anything more? I believe you're worthy of inheriting my power. Huh? What's that face for? It's a proposal. The real work begins here. Listen, my boy. I'm asking you. As he's bleeding? If you want to try accepting my power. His power? What's all I saying? This concerns my quirk, kid. <clears throat> the tabloids like to guess that it's super strength or boost power. And I avoid the question in interviews by making jokes. Because All Might, the symbol of peace, has to come off as a natural born hero. But my quirk was it was passed down to me, like the Olympic torch. Passed down to you, really. And yes, and now it may be your turn. Oh boy, here we go. Here's a fanboy mode. Hold on a second. To be sure, All Might's Quirk is one of the seven great mysteries of the world, and there's been endless debate over what it might be. There isn't a day that goes by without some new theory on the internet, but, well, now he says it's passed down to him. Naturally, I have no idea what he means. But, but more than that, that's not even a theory. That's, anyone's that's not even a theory that anyone's proposed before. But that's mostly because we still know so little about what quirks really are in the first place. I mean, we use the term quirk to begin with because each power characteristic is so very particular to a single person, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you really doubt me that much. Nonsense. I have the ability to transfer power. That's the quirk I inherited. It is called one for all. One for first person elevates the power and then passes it to another. The next refines it and passes it on again. In this way, those crying out to be saved and those with brave and true hearts link to form a crystalline network of power. But all this, why me? You may be the quirkless, a mere hero admirer, but back there you are more heroic than anyone else. I've been searching for a successor for a while now, and I believe that you are 
worthy. But of course it depends on you. What do you say? And Midoriya, and Midoriya stands up. He's told me so much. He's divulged his greatest secrets to me. Do I have a reason not to accept? No, not at all. I have no reason to refuse. And he says, yes, I accept. And then this weird looking man grins and he says a quick answer. I expected nothing less. But receiving that power ain't all that easy. This fridge makes quite the comfy perch. A little movement would make it even nicer though. Come on, all might, you're 274 kilos alone. Nah, I've lost some weight. I'm just 255 kilos. Hey, why am I dragging this garbage across the beach anyway? Because you're an ill-suited vessel. What? But you said I was worthy earlier. Your body. I mean your body. <laughs> My quirk one for all binds the physical strength of many people into one. Your limp noodle body isn't ready for it. Your limbs would pop right off. <laughs> My limbs? Okay, so I'm here to train my body by hauling trash? Yes, but that's not all. I did some research yesterday. This beach, well, this one section has been like this for years. Yeah, something about the currents. Lots of stuff drifts ashore. And people also dump their garbage here, even though they shouldn't. The young heroes today only want fame and glory. But being a hero is a... But being a hero is all about volunteer work, no matter how unglamorous. Never forget that. Let's bring back this beautiful ocean view. This is the first step on your path to becoming a hero. My first step is cleaning up all this. Kid, Midoriya, you want to get into UA, right? Yeah, because you went to, because you went to UA all night. If I can, I definitely want to go to UA. You blind fanboy. <laughs> like I said before, it's not possible for someone who's quirkless. It's sad, but true. That's reality. Not to mention UA's hero course is the toughest there is. So, I've got 10 months before the entrance exam. I've got to mold my body into a suitable vessel by then. That's what this is for. My self design Pass the test. American dream plan. A training regimen to help you clean up the garbage. And then some. You can chart your entire lifestyle with this. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I know I have to work way harder than anyone else to make it. So, so began ten hellish months. Get this to the park entrance. And load it into the truck. I'm using muscles I didn't even know I had. <laughs> I get it. This is... Run. Run. Ten months is right around the corner. Let's pump you up. <laughs> and I, man, that's hard to read. As architectural standards change to... Blah, 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 blah. And he's saying, sheesh, ten months of this. I'm in trouble if I can't finish at least... If I can't finish at least a week before the exam. So there are 294 days left. Muscle recovery necessitates intervals with two days of rest, meaning even at my most efficient, I only have 98 days of actual training. I can work it in five hours between morning and night, which makes for four, <laughs> he's doing all the math here. Basically, hey Midoriya, did you hit your head during that villain attack? The mud man from chapter one, of course. Ridiculous how he still thinks he can get into UA. Then they're studying for the entrance exams. He's positively neurotic, huh? This kid's life is just way out there. <laughs> but he continues to train and train. It's like a rocky montage. Just a, just a big old rocky montage. She continues to work out. And then before he passes out. Hey, what's wrong? It's only three or only three more months. You're not gonna make it. You wanna quit? Take a break today. And he's wheezing. And he's saying, Is he overworked? 
my Pass the Test American Dream plan. I designed it based on what you would need to do with your body specifically to make it before the exam date. But you haven't stuck to the plan. Overdoing it. Or overdoing it's no good either. Uh, don't you want to pass? He's wheezing. I do, but I don't want to just pass. I'll have to work harder than anyone else to make it. I'll never catch up otherwise. I want to be like you. Like you, the strongest hero. I see he's got his eye on the far future. And then he bulges up. <laughs> you blind fanboy. Such dumb zeal. That's exactly what I like to hear. <laughs> Eat your vitamins and say your prayers, right? <laughs> I see where you're coming from, but this is no time for panic. This old man will modify the plan for you. You're not an old man, all night. <laughs> so, exam day, 6 a.m. And then he uh, is doing like a Super Saiyan yell, but he's not turning Super Saiyan, which is kind of sad. But Whoa, he went beyond the assignment. Incredible, not a speck of trash left, amazing. You made it just in time and exceeded my expectations. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> then he passes out. I did it. Astounding, you're a real entertainer. And a team, no less. Here, take a look. What's this? It's you, ten months ago. We see how he looks ten months ago, and then we see how he looks now. He's got some, he's, he's kind of jacked, man. Kind of looking like Kid Tarzan here. The path forward is ever so slightly clearer. We are a true blue vessel now. Feels like I cheated, though. Getting all this help from you, All Might. I've been blessed. He's wrong. This is because of his own efforts. But you gotta quit being a crybaby. Anyway, time for the time for the awards ceremony is Zuku Midoriya. You know what they say. There's a big difference between being born with that silver spoon and working your butt off to earn it. Take this to heart, kid. You've earned this power fair and square. <laughs> it's like a twist right out of a comic book within my reach. And he says to eat this and it's a strand of hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just... <laughs> okay. Really doesn't matter what it is you eat as long as you get my DNA. Now hurry. Not exactly how I thought it would go. And the entrance exam begins in three hours. And, okay, Let's see a picture of him. Is this chapter three? Let's see here. It is. We're at the entrance exam. Well, I won't leave you on that cliffhanger. We'll get through chapter three and see how this goes. That would suck. I'd, I'd get a lot of downvotes for that, I'm sure. The UA High School Hero Course. This is chapter three, the entrance exam. It's a course designed to give students everything they need to go pro. It is without a doubt the toughest and most popular hero course in the country, and only one in 300 applicants is, is accepted. There's All Might who magnanimously declined the People's Choice Awards. Then the man who stopped more crimes than anyone else in recorded history, Endeavor, and the guy who's won the best genist award eight years running, best genist. It seems graduating from UA is simply a requirement for becoming a great hero. I finished my training with All Might on February 26th. I rushed home, took a quick shower, and packed my bag. One 40-minute subway ride later. I made it in time. That day I would take the practical portion of the general entrance exam for UA. There was no time to test out the power that All Might had given me. I ate that hair, but really did it do anything? Move aside, Deku. That's uh, Kachan, this idiot. Get out of my way or you're dead. And then, uh, of course, he's age 15 as well, Katsuki Bakugo. And we don't like him. We would like him to get beat up very much. My morning. Let's do our best. Ever, de uh, ever since that day, Kachan never tormented me again. Hey, isn't that Bakugo from this sledge incident? Sure is. I gotta stop flinching instinctively. <clears throat> but it's not like before. I remember the past ten months and my first step towards becoming a hero. Alrighty. 
This is it. And then it gets stopped. Are you okay? Derp. <laughs> it's my quirk. Sorry for stopping you. But, well, it's a bad omen to trip and fall. This sure is nerve-wracking. Yeah, um, um, good luck to both of us. I talked to a girl. I know how he feels, sadly. <laughs> he didn't actually talk. <laughs> that's funny. That, that, that's funny. Okay, that's funny. Um, welcome to today's live performance. Everybody say hey, and then silence. Well, that's cool. My exam listeners, I'm here to present the guidelines of your practical. Are you ready? And silence. It's the voice hero, present Mike. Wow, I listen to his radio show every week. It's inspiring. Guess all the UA teachers are pro heroes. This is how the test will go, my listeners. You'll be experiencing 10 minute long mock cityscape maneuvers. Bring along whatever you want. After this presentation, you'll each head to your assigned testing location. Uh, there's 50 kids from the same middle school. Can't help each other out, yeah? And why consecutive ID numbers are assigned to different locations? <laughs> I'll crush them all, but you get to live another day. Each side is filled with three, uh, three kinds of faux villains. And, uh, you can see they're using Mario silhouettes. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Points are awarded for defeating each according to their respective difficulty levels. Use your quirks to disable these faux villains and earn points. That's your goal, listeners. Of course, playing the anti-hero and attacking other examiner, examinees is prohibited. And someone says, may I ask a question? There appear to be no fewer than four varieties of faux villain on this handout. Such a blatant error, if it is one, is it, it, such a blatant error if it is one is highly unbecoming for UA Japan's uh, top academy. We're all here today in hopes of being molded into model heroes. And you, with the curly hair, you've been muttering this whole time. It's distracting. If this is some sort of game to you, then please leave immediately. Yeah, Midoriya, shut up. You're one of those people. All right, all right. Examining 7,111. Nice catch. Thanks. But the fourth faux villain variety gets you zero points. He's more of an obstacle. Have you, have you all played Super Mario Brothers? It's kind of like a thwomp. Only one at each site. A gimmick that'll rampage around in close quarters. So it's like a stage gimmick to be avoided. Thank you, sir. I apologize for the interruption. Really is like a video game then. That's all from me. I'll leave my listeners with our school motto. The great hero Napoleon Bonaparte once said, true heroism consists in being superior to the ills of life. Plus ultra break a leg, everyone. And then it's a huge, stinking looking city. <laughs> and uh, Midori is shaking. He's like, why is everybody so confident? Why aren't they nervous? They're even, they've even got equipment to match their quirks. And poor Midoriya doesn't have any of that. It, it's her. We're at the same site. I've got to thank her for earlier. That girl seems to be doing some kind of meditation. Why are you here? Hoping to interfere? Him too. That kid was acting like an idiot back at the front gate. He flinches at the slightest touch. I guess that's one less rival to worry about. I can't blame him for thinking that. And begin. What's wrong? The test started. Run. Run. The die is cast. And then everyone takes off. I'm already behind. Calm down. Calm down. It's fine. I'm fine. I can do this. I'm meant to do this. I'm meant to be a hero. All mine is backing me up. Okay, I hate the hair. I don't feel myself transforming. Of course not. You need time to digest. You'll start feeling. You'll start to feel something in a few hours. God, I'm so nervous. Gotta get home, take a shower, eat some breakfast. You may be a prop per vessel now, but you were put together in a hurry. 
You've had no time to get used to your power. Prepare for some real kickback. No time for a detailed explanation. But know this. When you use one for all. Clench up your butt. And let your heart cry out saying. Crash. Smash. <laughs> it's a one pointer. Target locked. Prepare for termination. One pointer is quick but fragile. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Why? Why can't I move? I'm just terrified on instinct. Idiot, why? I've got this. Bam. A laser. Messy. I appreciate the assist, but I doubt we'll meet again. I do. We'll meet, won't meet again. Six minutes, two seconds remaining. God. Bad. This is bad. And then there's just like a superhero free-for-all going on. Side, 28 points. Huh? 45 points. Huh? 32. The enemies, there are barely any left. This is bad. We won't tell them how many vi villains there are or how they're placed. Such a wide battlefield and limited time brings out the best in them. There are those who can assess the situation in an instant. Intelligence gatherers. Those who will never be late to the party. Mobility experts. Those who can cope with any given situation. Decision makers. And then there are natural born warriors. The abilities needed to preserve peace in our cities are judged by the points they earned. It begins now. This year's quite the bumper crop, huh? Nah, no way to know yet. But this should tell us more. And there one looks. A gimmick that will rampage around in close quarters. That's way too big. It's completely overwhelming. People show their true colors when they face that thing. This isn't funny. I gotta run. Run and somehow get those points. I'm still at zero. This will be all for nothing. Everything All Might did for me. All for nothing. He says, ow. Oh, she says, ow, she's hurt. It's a bad omen to trip and fall. When there's nothing to be gained. Then he takes off. Rising to the challenge at those times is surely the mark of a true hero. And Midoriya goes one punch man. Smash. Oh. That sacrificing spirit. Is, is Midoriya's current score? Zero. And we got chapter four. We'll do it. We'll do chapter four and that'll be the last one. It's just like before. Wait, no it's not. This time. <laughs> I'm falling. What, wait, was that All Might's power? Is that how I jump so high? What, wherever I land, I'm gonna splatter. This is number four, starting one. And he starts falling. Uh, and he says, splatter? You may be a proper vessel, but you're put together in a hurry. And, you know, flashback to past time. This is all my power we're talking about. It's only been ten months. I can barely contain it. Only barely. This barred power. I got carried away in that moment. I've only, I've only been given a place at the starting line. That's all. I think, what do I do? What do I do? And there's the Detroit smash. He remembers. But my legs and right arm are shot. Got to be the left arm if I can aim at the ground. But timing is everything. Too early or too late and I'm dead. Even if I pull it off, I've still got no points. And even with my, even with my left arm broken, I can't possibly pass. But then, uh... Yeah. Thwomp. Yeah, he gets saved by the girl. Thud. As pieces and he falls to the ground and everything. And, uh... I'm saved. Well, she saved me. 
Is she okay? Is she hurt? Thank goodness. At least there's that. But just one point. It's all over. And everyone's just kind of whatever. That guy, what was that? He jumped right at that gimmick. Must have a strength enhancing cork, but that was something else. But with a cork like that, but with a cork like that, how'd this kid get to be such a scaredy cat? Was it, was it all an act to throw us off? Can't see how it helped him though. Either way, he's something special. He, that's not it. Weren't they even watching? He jumped in to save the girl. The remaining time, his own safety, what he needed to pass. There was a lot to consider. But he didn't hesitate. Not at all. I mean, sure, if this weren't an exam, I would have done the same. Oh, the exam, of course. Could it be? Yes, well done. Well done, good work. Yes, yes, her bow candy fall. <laughs> Eat up. That mademoiselle. <laughs> she's the backbone of UA. So your own beloved court. Or she's about. So, your own beloved court did this to you. Almost looks as though your body isn't used to it. Her quirk is a super healing factor. It's in large part thanks to her presence that UA dares to host such wild exams. This one will be fine. Any other her children? And her name is Youthful Heroine, Recovery Girl. <laughs> Yes, if this exam is set up in that way, then he... One week later. Izuku? Izuko? Are you okay? Stop smiling that fish. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm fine. By my own calculations. By my own calculations, I just barely passed the written portion. But my incredible goose egg score in the practical it makes it all pointless. And since the day of the test, All Might hasn't contacted me. The letter. It should come in today or tomorrow, right? Oh, you're... <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, your dear old mom thinks it's wonderful that you even tried. <laughs> He's just like, mm -hmm. I never told mom about all light. Never? Wow. That's a secret I have to keep so he can go on, go on being the symbol of peace. I don't even think it'd be right to, it'd be right to tell my family. All might, I don't know what you saw in me. I'm sorry. But I did what I thought was right. All my, I did what I thought you'd want. It's here, the letter. It's really here. He's looking at it, he's looking at it. <laughs> this is a projection. All Might? Huh? I thought this was from UA. Huh? It's been a while. There's been much. To, there's been much to deliberate on. <clears throat> Apologies. I'm in town for one reason only. I've come to teach at UA. <laughs> at UA, all might. What's that you say? Get to the point. Whatever I want to say to him can be said later. I don't know, fine, got it. Even if you pass the written portion, getting zero points in the practical naturally results in failure. I'm pathetic. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. But that's not the end of the story. Let me entertain you. Please watch the screen. Excuse me, but that nice girl, she came to see us right after the test. Why you ask, stay tuned. Um, that curly haired boy with freckles, you know, the one, he's uh, really plain looking. <laughs> she means me. Glad way to dog yourself, dude. Can you give him some of the points I earned? At the end, he was saying just one point. I, I heard him. That means he didn't get any points, right? What can you even, what can you even do? At least however many, at least however many points he gave up trying to save me. There was absolutely no need for you to put yourself in danger. You've acquired your quirk, and you've moved others with your actions. That boy, he saved my life. This exam, you see, we weren't just watching for villain-based points. I'm afraid we can't give him your points, but there shouldn't be a need for it, my little listener. A hero course that rejects those who do the right thing is no hero course at all. 
In this job, you risk your life and put your money where your mouth is. Think this is all for the cameras. Think what you want. Rescue points were also a factor here. Another fundamental way for UA to evaluate you. Which is kind of bad because they didn't say that. Like, the heroes had no idea. <laughs> they went in just going based on the rules that they were given. Which is kind of bad, but... 60 points for Izuku Midoriya. And while we're at it, 45 for Ochako Uraraka. Uraraka. I, I guess I say it. I, I never thought. Then All Might says, you're in. Come now, Midoriya. This will be your hero academy. All the help I've got has changed my life. So began the high school career I dreamed of. And I think that is a perfect, perfect stopping point. We went through four chapters just like I did Tokyo Gold, but that was a brilliant first four chapters to open up the story of My Hero Academia. And um, just my initial thoughts. Uh, I like it. I would probably like it more in the anime form. Um, but that that's kind of just me in general. I'm more of a visual person as far as my storytelling. I, I didn't used to be that way. I did do a lot of, a lot of reading growing up, and I still should. But um, I don't know the the visual I'm, of all this. I'm sure is very impressive to watch. So, um, maybe I should give it a few episodes and then see how I feel when I'm reading this. Um, it's very rare that I read a manga first before I see the anime. Very rare, actually. This, this, and Tokyo Ghoul, the video you guys saw, are the only inst instances of that. So, I, I like it. Um, the art style's different for me. I, I don't know, um... Uh, I don't know about the art style as far as if I really, really love it or not, but I do like the story. Um, I like the idea of heroes. I like the idea that he kind of took from like the X-Men of like people being um, born with powers and then there's actually an academy for them to, for them to learn their powers and stuff. I actually, without even knowing what My Hero Academia was about, I wrote a story like that myself. Um, yeah, and it was about yeah, people being born with, like, mostly elemental powers. But, anyway. I liked it. I hope y'all liked it, too. And like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, if you made it this far, it's over an hour. But if you liked it, uh, give me a like. Let me know. I'll do the rest of this. And who knows, maybe some more volumes later down the road. But uh, definitely keeping up the First Impressions series, I hope. Right? Check out Mangas for the first time. So, until next time, take care, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. This is Daphne Silence signing off. Take care.